What's happening, everybody? Uh, yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, I got a new truck that I'm absolutely in love with, the 22 GMC Canyon AT4 with leather. And uh, <laughs> more on the truck at another time. I'm going to get like a spray and bed liner and a cover and a couple other things that, as they arise we'll talk about. But for right now, I want to get into these. The Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack that came on these trucks from the factory. I was thinking about doing like a comparison. Yeah, the Hummer's still here. I was thinking about doing a comparison against the Yokohama G015s, but I don't think that's going to be too fair. Number one, this truck is 15 years older than the brand new one, and they're totally different animals, different tire size, everything. This truck only had 10 miles on it when I picked it up, so it's fair to say that these tires were brand new. So what I want to do is give you my initial impressions now, and then as I rack up some more miles, I'll give you an update somewhere around 10,000. Feel-wise, they feel very pliable, they're not sticky. They're, they're, they actually feel really good. These feel a little bit softer to me than the Yokohama Geolander did. My tire size is a 265-65-17. These are not the LT version, so don't be confused. The LT versions, not only do they have a higher load rating, but they also come with two more 30 seconds of tread. These have 16 30 seconds. The LTs have 18 30 seconds. Given the choice, I would have picked the LTs just for the extra load rating and more tread. The trade-off with that is these non-LT versions come with a six-year, 50,000-mile warranty from Goodyear. The LT versions do not. They are specifically excluded from any warranty, and you're totally on your own. According to the specs, this is supposed to be 16 30 seconds worth of tread, and I'm getting 15 after 700 miles. So, and just like the Yokohama video that I did, I was one 30 second off with this depth gauge. I'm starting to suspect my depth gauge might be a little bit off by one 30 second, which is a little weird. And that's across the board. We're on the uh, the rear tire now, 15 30 seconds. Same thing. It's supposed to be 16, 3 and 15. I think is this. The side lugs at the deepest point, as far as I can tell, are about 9.30 seconds deep. And that's a lot more compared to the Yokohama, which was only three. These are more pronounced, more functional on this tire. These will actually do something. On the Yokohama, they were more like decoration than anything else. Oh my god. This place is Grand Central Station today, and there's so much noise I can't film, and I'm having to start and stop. So let's go for a drive, and we'll talk about it more. previous video I said I didn't want the dirt tracks but that was not a, a slight against Goodyear I, I didn't have anything against them I just wanted something that was less aggressive is all so nothing against Goodyear I'm pretty impressed with these to be honest I mean they handle really good they're grippy they're, they're I mean they're, they're really grippy <laughs> here we go here's a nice freshly paved piece of highway I'm gonna get up to speed here and you can hear what noise I hear might be a little bit louder on the camera because I've got this suction cup to the window. That sound was a little too loud when I went and listened to it. So here I am holding the camera about 70-ish, 73 miles an hour on a highway. And I just wanted to see if I can capture the sound a little more true to life. So this is what you're hearing. And it's not obnoxious. It's bearable. It's easily... Uh, it's easily forgotten about once you get used to it, so I wouldn't get too wrapped around the axle on how much sound these make. It's really not that big a deal. If you're one of those people that wants it absolutely quiet while you drive, um, yeah, forget it. It doesn't matter what you buy. These tires make a little bit of noise, but so does every tire, and you're gonna be hard pressed to find something that's absolutely quiet, so good luck with that. This traffic today is absolutely horrendous. It's everywhere I go, like everywhere. 40 miles an hour everywhere I can't get anywhere fast I can't get up to speed before I have to slow down because some grandma all the way up front is holding up the line it's ridiculous and everybody's driving like their little old lady on the way to the church house one of my big concerns with the Yokohama Geolanders was how much gravel they pick up on a gravel road like how much it flings it around and I'm trying to find a gravel road I'm going back to the same spot that I had gone to in my original video and I want to see if it's still gravel. <laughs> I'm kind of running out of uh, locations that still have gravel roads around here. Oh man, it looks like we're in luck. It's still gravel. <laughs> Let's see if we hear anything. I don't hear any gravel getting picked up and flung by these tires at all.
get out and have a look and see if there's anything stuck in the tires. Oh, look at that. Not one bit. Yeah, this one's got a couple of little, little tiny pieces, but I'm more worried about stuff like this that might fling off and actually do some damage to mine or somebody else's vehicle. Last thing I want to do is pay for somebody's windshield, you know. There's a couple more little pieces. No big deal. It seems like as I was driving, if they were sticking in there, they were falling out right away. So that's actually a good thing that they're not sticking in there. Then I get up to speed and then they fling out and hit something. That's what I don't want. You know, I noticed as I got through this section, that's a lot heavier, larger rock. It started flinging it a little bit, but none of, them, none of it seemed to stick, but it was flinging it. And when I was doing circles up there on the hill, it kind of, oh, this guy's going to stop me. Apparently that was private property and I didn't realize it. And this guy come up just wondering who the crazy person is driving around in circles in the gravel was. And, uh, Explain to him I'm testing out some of the tires and got into all sorts of discussions about life's trials and tribulations and uh, man what a nice guy seriously it's pretty rare these days that you come across somebody who like he obviously caught me trespassing and was super nice about it I'm like I'm kind of taken aback I mean what a nice dude holy crap this guy can't keep it on the road Jesus take the wheel <laughs> you know as far as highway manners these tires feel really smooth I mean they're super smooth they feel good they're grippy I have no complaints so first impressions I like them I really do with the Hummer I said I didn't want this chunky of a tire on the Hummer and just a personal preference I wanted something a little less aggressive than this for this truck I think this is a perfect tire for this truck Honestly, I'm really impressed with it. I know it's an off-road edition truck, the AT4, but I'm not an off-roader. I don't intend on being an off-roader. I'm definitely not taking a brand new truck out and beating the crap out of it just to test these tires. So if you want that, go somewhere else. The reason I bought this truck is harsh winters and nasty weather and always wanting to stay mobile. The question some of you might have is, would I have still bought these if they didn't already come on the truck brand new? And the answer is yes. I actually fully intended on replacing the Yokohama Geolanders on the Hummer when it was time with these just to try them out and I really don't have to now. I still have the Hummer and that's going to be my backup vehicle from now. This is going to be my daily driver. As time goes on and I rack up some more miles on these things, I fully intend to keep you updated on what my thoughts are. I really like the truck though. I'm telling you, I am really impressed with this truck. This is an awesome little truck. I'll do more on the truck as time goes on and things arise. I know I'm getting a cover for the bed, a spray and bed liner. I've already ordered some new LED headlights for these because the factory headlights suck. If you're a Colorado or Canyon owner, then you know what a pain it is to find LEDs that fit behind these dust covers on these headlights. So I've got a set of aux beams coming and we're gonna put them in and see how they fit and do a review on those too. So yeah, for now, drive safe everybody, I'll talk to you soon.